One aspect of uh, being able to run a radio station like this is the people that make the radio station what it is are the community. So they are making programming and content that is benefiting the actual people within the community because they are the people in the community, if you see what I mean. We've created our own social media policy, which is part of what we call the Radio Decorum Bible. And uh, we give this to every one of our new presenters so they can see exactly what um, we mean by you know, uh, relevant posting on social media, when to post, how much to post. Um, and part of our policy is to make sure that we don't post too much because obviously we don't want to be turning the people off from listening or watching what we're doing. Our rules are don't post anything inappropriate, um, post things that you will find funny and local and you know, um, uh, like I say, if you can get a picture of a local cat, brilliant. Most people, they uh, seem to think of radio, um, it's always traditionally been uh, an audio medium, but uh, with the advent of computers and of course social media, it's become more and more um, uh, a visual medium as well. And it's through things like social media, through Facebook, through um, joining uh, Facebook with Twitter and using things like Hootsuite to be able to disseminate information whilst we're on air. Uh, we can reach many more people and we've noticed through doing uh, various uh, bits of uh, research that um, social media is a lot stronger when you include uh, a photograph with it. Um, if you put something that's, uh, you know, that's amusing for people like, you know, cats on the internet, that sort of thing, then people will engage with that so much more readily and therefore, you know, that transfers into listeners and people listening to us more, uh, which is great. And one of the best things about that is that all the young people that we're having in the studio, they already know all of the social media, so that's one less thing that we have to train them. In fact, it's the old people that we have to do more of the training on. Some of our shows, they're just absolutely jam-packed full of great local information that is being provided. Like It's almost like we're just being the channel for it, for it to flow through to us back into the community. Um, so that, again, that's a really good way of using social media, which is thought of as a worldwide phenomena, but on a, on a local scale.